again. Today we're going to be talking about security within ClickSense. A couple of ways we can look at security. Security to some people means what should users be allowed to do in terms of functionality? Are they allowed to edit applications? Are they allowed to create applications? How far should they be able to go? I'm going to be diving into that. I'm also going to be diving into something called section access, which is security as it relates to the data itself, not the applications or functionality, but just the pure raw data. What are they allowed to do? And so it's not going to be a whole deep dive into coding, just more of an overview to help you understand what it is we can do. Within ClickSense, we can lock users down to both rows as well as columns. And by that, here's what I mean. I could define users and I could say, hey, this user DRR, which is me, has access to all. All meaning I have all the supervisors that are in the system. There's five supervisors in the data I'm going to show you. Geez, I'm allowed to see them all. However, we also have to deal with PII information or PHI information. I need to lock some columns down. Maybe those even need to be locked down for me. So I'm allowed to see supervisors one, two, three, four, five, but I'm only allowed to see the PII information for supervisors one, two, and five, whatever you might deem that to be. We would configure that. I have another user here, Candy Striper, who's our nursing supervisor. She's allowed to see all five, as you'll see here. She's allowed to see all of them. What she's not allowed to see is the PII for Supervisor 5. She's only allowed to see the rows, but not the PII. Whereas I have one of our performance improvement administrators, Six Sigma, He's allowed to see supervisors three, four, five, and he's more than welcome to see the PII information for that as well. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this and make it a little bit more obvious. And as I do, again, I'm going to be covering both role security as well as that data security in the same video. When I'm in ClickSense as an administrator, I have the ability to create work. I've got a whole bunch of applications here I'm working on population, health applications, etc. I also have access to an everyone stream. And there's an application out here called Section Access. I'm going to go ahead and open that application. You'll see this is really robust here. I've got my KPI showing me, hey, I've got access to 20 encounters, 20 surveys. I've got these five supervisor IDs, which is what I said was there. I can see the supervisors, the survey ID, the survey score. I can't see the PII here. And obviously, this is kind of a weak example in terms of what PII would be. But it's just to demonstrate. I could even, based on that section access, although I could build apps, I may need to lock even administrators out of seeing PII or PHI. And so that's one of the things I could do. Also, as a administrator of the entire system, I get to have access to all of the apps. I get to have access to all of the tasks, all of the streams, all of the users, security. I can configure everything. That, that's what I do as, a, as an overall administrator. One of the things that we'll see besides just functionality for users, though, is maybe I need role administrators. So I'm going to start with six first. Six, security-wise, may need to be an administrator, but just for his team. He does not have access to everything. He wouldn't get access to every app, only the apps maybe that are for the team that he runs. Maybe he only needs to see the data connections for those things in his department. Maybe he only needs to see certain objects and certain tasks. And so that's one of the things that um, is nice is it can provide that role-based security even for administration functions. If Six were to come into the hub instead, he's also a user. He is allowed to build work. If he were to come into applications that were available, he'd be allowed to do things. Maybe he can edit apps. 
if he were to come into this application that's out here for everyone, as we started, he has access to supervisors three, four, five, and that's it. He is not seeing the data for supervisors one and two at all, for whatever that reason may be. And he's allowed to see all that PII. Um, so he, we can lock him down as we need to. I'm going to log out as six. And instead, I'm going to come in as Penny. I want to show you some more role administration here. So you'll notice that Penny here does not have the ability to do any work. She can't create new applications. So she's not building stuff from data from cocktail napkins or Excel sheets. She is allowed to edit applications. And so she could work in this application. If she decides she sees something that she wants to change, she could come in, she could duplicate the sheet. And now she's created her own versions. If she liked one of these things that she does, she could turn around and try to publish that back out there for everyone. But again, Penny was not allowed to create brand new applications. She's working from a very governed structure that lets her have access to only what she's supposed to have access to. Whereas Candy Striper, for instance, may be different. She is allowed to create items. If she wanted to build a brand new application, she could. She would also have access to edit applications. What I want to show now is for um, Candy's security. She did have access to all five supervisors, but for whatever the reason is, we wanted to lock her out of the PII for supervisor ID 5. And so she can get to data. She can see most columns. She's just not seeing the PII column. That stuff that I showed can be done at group levels. This is a very, very crude, easy to show you way to understand this. This could be loaded from databases, obviously. We would actually be bringing this query in. We're not going to go through all of our thousands of users and all the thousands of combinations. That stuff's going to be set up somehow in a database and read in. I just typed it in with our inline command to just be able to demonstrate some very simple stuff for you. And when I use this for demos, we change what these numbers are and we mix around the supervisors. So hopefully you've enjoyed this few minutes um, trying to understand security in ClickSense. Very, very granular in terms of role-based administration, what users can do what to which applications, and when they're in the applications, not only can we do role-based administration, a lot of people can do role-based administration. We can also do column administration so that we can hide and configure who can see which PII or which PHI information in your application.